Again, in the federal capital territory, where Major General Olufemi Oluyede has assumed command as acting chief of army staff. The chief of defense staff, General Christopher Musa, presided over the event at the defense headquarters in Abuja. He noted that it is unprecedented to have an acting chief of army staff when there is a substantive chief of army staff who unfortunately is indisposed. General Christopher Musa stressed that Major General Oluyede will act until the president of the country decides otherwise. The chief of defense staff emphasized that um, the CDS emphasized that the president in consultation with the CDS has the statutory right to make such a decision. General Christopher Musa says the acting chief of army staff has full powers to operate as chief of army staff. In his remark, General, Major General Olu Kayode promised to hold sway as acting chief of army staff till the return of Lieutenant General Taurid Abiodu Lagbaja, who is the substantive chief of army staff. General Oluyedi appreciated God and President Tunubu for considering him worthy of such office. Well, let's bring in our senior reporter, Sifone Sien. He joins us on the news and he's at, um, he was present at uh, this um, um, ceremony. Talk to us about what's the latest. Uh, to help us understand how this works when we have an acting chief of army staff. General um, Christopher Musta has said it's never happened before, you know, to have an acting chief of army staff while you still have a substantive chief of army staff. Um, it's an unfortunate situation he described it, considering the fact that the substantive chief of army staff is indisposed. Now, what's next for the acting chief of army staff is to meet with principal staff officers. That meeting is going to happen any moment from now at the army headquarters, where he will be briefed. And then he would um, rule out um, what his mandate would be as acting chief of army staff, pending the, the decision of the president uh, otherwise. Mm, you mentioned some of the key highlights, you know, from the acting chief of army um, staff's inaugural speech. I know he had said that he was thanking God and, of course, thanking uh, the president for finding him worthy. Any qualities, you know, from him that stands out for you? Um, I didn't quite get that question, but if you're asking about the remarks of the acting chief of army staff, um, just like you read in the intro, he appreciated God and his president for his appointment as acting, and precisely the fact that the acting chief of army staff, and the fact that there wouldn't be any vacuum. So he assumes command um, as acting chief of army staff, but all the paraphernalia of the chief of army staff, that means he wields all the authorities of the chief of army staff for going acting capacity. So um, the CDS, as the Chief of Defense Staff, justified this that um, due to the prevailing or the emerging security challenges in the country, the president in consultation with the CDS had to take this decision and also justified the fact that the president has the powers, statutory powers, to take the decision of appointing an active Chief of Army Staff while we have a substantive Chief of Army Staff. Now, I was asking if you could just provide a bit of insight just for uh, our audience, a bit of insight into the acting chief of army staff's uh, military background and experience. Um, again, it's pretty difficult to um, get exactly the question you've asked. But uh, if you want to know the background of the acting chief, you saw the same course with the substantive chief of army staff, that's course 99, course 39 of the Nigerian Defense Academy. So, um, what, what, what an unusual balance you call an course mate. Although seniority, of obviously, the society chief of army staff is senior. Better than general, average general. Sifonis, our correspondent there at the Defense Headquarters, will get back to you for more details.